Hi guys, welcome back. Natalia here. And I will decide to try something little tiny diamond painting in here. As you know, I have lots of diamond painting that already started halfway done or just the beginning. But I want I feel like I want to work today with some special gems. And why I have your bag in here, I'm gonna show you why. But first I wanna show you guys, I finished this little tiny teddy bear. I started yesterday and I finished today. It was so fun to do. Well, to be honest, I thought he's gonna be at least size, maybe like this, right? But then when I start to stitch, oh my goodness, he is so tiny. Look at this cutie. So this is by Riolis. Very, very cute. I did unboxing one time when I did the sunflowers um, diamond painting and this, di uh, this uh, stitching kit was sent to me as a little gift. I love it. My little girl loves it. She said if you can make me as a pen, I will wear it every day. So I will have to see and figure out. It's not very big. Maybe I can or maybe just put in a little frame. Um, okay, so this one cutie teddy bear with some present um, and I went yesterday to a dollar store I'm going to show you what I got a little a few things before I uh, there's a very pretty colors in here of the DMC code guys and I showed you before my colors from uh, the organizer for stitching and most of those colors I got from dollar store and some point I was like I go there and I buy a lot the only thing I don't know if um, so glare this bag if how good they will hold the color if after wash maybe will fade or not but look they're so pretty this pink and like teal color I think it's gorgeous like a to stitch like a cupcake or something like that would be beautiful so I just got it was only same colors it was like this package is only so I got it uh, and then I got some, I like this, I like this organizers. Um, so I think when I'm gonna uh, kit up with you this diamond paint, then I might just gonna use this jars or maybe some other one. Uh, I like them because also you can uh, hook them up and put, uh, if you have like a wall organizer with the hook go through. Uh, but this is like screw on cups. And they have different sizes, bigger, smaller. So I got like medium size, I guess that was. So I got how many packages? One, two, three, four. I think I got four of them. And I already have, I bought previous to them. Every time I go basically to dollar store and I think this dollar was dollar tree call. Because some of them dollarama, some dollar tree. Okay, so now I have a little bit more storage for my beads or could be for the seed beads as well, a very nice storage for them. And I was looking like accidentally I also saw this kind of storage guys for like a little gems, but the only I spot one of them and this is really, really tiny as you can see it's not thick at all. But they have 12 of these jars. Let's see. Screw in. It's more likely it's good to kind of collect in them or those special gems from your diamond painting or even for those little sequins and gem if you make in your nails design. And guys, thank you so much. So many of you like my design my um, nails design I do have a tutorial how I did there's two videos up there when I did from scratch not from scratch but um, how I take it off my old uh, nail polish and how I did this one there's two videos up there so if you like to join me up there please welcome oh and we are less than 300 subscribers now on this channel so we will have a giveaway soon you guys my channel growing fast thank you so much and on my beauty channel we close to 300 subscribers so we will be there in 500 subscribers i will have giveaway 
on my beauty channel so anyway this is cute little thing so maybe even gems if it's not big packaging from here I will put in here we'll see I did not open yet so I'm not sure how much it's gonna fit in here and then of course the stickers of smile face is my favorite <laughs> I like them I think I put them I stick one yesterday when my son wasn't watching I I grabbed one sticker from here smile face and stick on his shoulder and he didn't see it oh it's two sheets in here awesome so if you like smiley faces you can make jewelry with them as well put them inside of the resin to make a little charms for your kids or keychains so this is something gonna be for my project one day when I will mess with my resins then I will put this few stickers to something and try to see what we can create with it now let me just put them back okay what else I got in the dollar store I got some just little cute gems up there mm. I got a two of them shape as a star you see how beautiful those colors so I thought maybe sometime I can use them even in a diamond painting for some 3d um, yeah they, they just cute so I got this one and this one is big round one I think I have this kind of shape and size before in my butterfly diamond painting the one that has a special gems okay and what else I got and I got sequins because I want to do some tutorial to create some flowers with you and maybe some jewelry I don't know uh, some embroidery so I got this beautiful uh, three different shades of sequins they kind of like a medium size not as tiny one so any needle could go through because sometimes some of them have very very tiny needle um, hole okay and last thing I got I just had two makeup brushes and that's it okay so I'm gonna clean up this mess and come back we're gonna um, kitten up together my diamond painting when I opened this diamond painting I actually realized guys that we don't have to kitten up this piece because it's already in uh, Ziploc bags so all we have to do is open package and pick number. I'm not gonna use um, the tray from here. I'm gonna use my fancy pen from my crafty friend. If somebody wish to order this cutie, you can ask for the link and I will link it up for you. Um, so yes, here we can see there's like a, okay, this is not a good example to show you this way. And now it's kind of late. It's 10 30 night and I decided to start this one. So, but what I want to show you here, see those beautiful colors, maybe a little bit too much light. I don't know. What I want to say that is kind of interesting. Diamond paintings that are brand new hanging on the back of my door in an organizer that supposed to be for shoes you know the one that like have a pockets and you put shoes in it so behind that I had this little purse hanging on my door okay it has a uh, zipper in here but this is kind of like silky fabric embroidery with the gold and you see how beautiful and when I look on it, I'm just like, oh my god, isn't it kind of remind you this painting? It's almost like the same. It's so similar, kind of, the structure of this center flower and the borders around. And of course, this is different design, but it's kind of similarity in it. So I just wanted to share with you this little thing. Okay, I don't know what I can use for for the summer maybe throw cell phone lipstick mirror and go somewhere for a walk I don't know 
Um, okay, so what I want to do, we have here beautiful, I did unboxing on this uh, video, but if somebody wants to order, I will link it up for you under. So this one is pearls, and then we have some white pearlescent, it's blinding right now because of the night overhead light. So this one is beautiful, um, three of the same kind to have this beautiful color and green one the same and then we have some gems. Actually this one is exactly the same gems that I show you I bought at the dollar store but bigger. Let me find a camera. This is just a smaller size, but exactly the same thing. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from number one that is on my key in here. Number one is a blue circle. And we're going to start, and here is the, it's go around in here. So maybe we will start with number one, and that's the beautiful, this pearlescent white. Yeah, that's two one. Okay, so we're just gonna start with that. And if you like to join me in my sparkle adventure, more than welcome. I'm just gonna zoom in even close, set my camera a little bit more so we can see better. Okay, let's jump. Hold on. And we're gonna do this corner with you together. Just put this beautiful beads on a tray. You know, it's good to have a break from big canvas and start on something small. And as you can see, I'm holding in here. And then I just shake it up. And they line up very pretty from side to side they are gorgeous okay beautiful beautiful okay so I'm gonna peel this corner in here and hopefully I will remember to stay in line of my camera there you're not going to see my beads, but we're going to see where I place them. So we're going to start right from beginning. And I think you will see. Um, I wonder if it's possibility to zoom a little bit close. Now, what I learned before by working with this kind of gems, they have ability usually to pull out wax out of the pain uh, of the pen so we will see if this gonna happen or not because usually they kind of stronger and I just put brand new wax into my paint I think I, that's the close as I can get I think you can see very well so we just completed our first leaf shape and what I remember today that I totally forgot already. I did not show you guys yet my like 100% finish of the Christmas uh, Christmas hand like the church with the snow and I added up their crystals that Tina sent it to me from Sparklers. Um, so because I did not glue the frame yet my frame fall apart if you remember so I will glue it tomorrow I'm not sure I might have to go to work to do a garden while you're watching this video but I think after this video my next one will be I will show you the diamond painting for the Christmas time that if somebody would like to order you can do and I'm gonna show you 
uh, how I place those gems, sparkle gems. They are look beautiful. Okay, so we created our first design. Looks pretty. Let's move on a little bit. This canvas is measure 30 by 30 centimeters, but I believe this is um, 25 by 25 if you count printed area. Usually um, 30 by 30 is together with the borders of canvas itself. So make sure you remember that if you uh, looking for the frame before you buy canvas and I believe this one is from says deal and guys I do love very much their product you always have lots of beads left and that's what I like about I have humongous amount of beads left from my Christmas um, LED picture you will love it so yeah that's the plan and I hope I will stick to it I will show you that diamond painting next as always I open just a little bit clear sheet I put my tray on the top of it so also as my hand so I don't stick to the glue and this is partial because the black background that you see it's there's nothing to place on it but it's enough of the gems in here they will looks beautiful anyway even it kind of looks like full but it is partial This exact gems I had in my peacock diamond painter. See, because it's like a glittery bead, some not always it's sticking to the wax. Very, very interesting to work with this kind of foiled beads or drills or gems. more close you put your tray with diamonds to the area you work then faster you will be in your diamond painting because your movements of your arm will be much shorter than you would do reaching out far away so you kind of save in a time and drilling faster Also, I'm waiting from uh, this company another five diamond painting kits, guys, and I cannot wait to show you what I picked this time. I really love it. And also, I will show you something that I ordered for the beauty channel because everybody know about AliExpress and not many know that they have some other stuff on that website it's as huge as like Aliexpress I have everything up there so I will link under my video you can check it out for yourself they have lots of um, this kind of diamond painting with the special beads and there's so much new product up there I'm impressed. They've really 
working hard to bring the best for you. I did not have this appointment yet. Every diamond painting that I finish, um, I, I was happy how it looks like and I happy that uh, it had always pour on glue I believe and the big amount of gems always left so it's definitely uh, on my list to recommend and then guys I want to talk to you about I was working on my hurricane diamond painting that I ordered a long time ago and I put away for a long time because it was driving me nuts because I had some situation with the popping drills so obviously since that time I never ordered nothing else from Hurricane and I just have a question to you uh, just want to see if we're gonna have some sparkles of these beads right now no not really I will show you in the sunshine um, so I want to ask you if any of you lately order something from Hurricane and if the quality of their website on diamond painting changed or not because in one point I remember there was lots of unhappy customers with lots of problems and that's why they changed the even website and that's the one that I work in right now is from different uh, website there is who can owner as well and I did have the problem and I still do so I'm just working on it little by little because the pop and drills kind of in certain colors I would say not everywhere so when I start work on it again I was like happy it's like wow I don't know why I got so upset but I started from different corner and when I got the exact same color of the beads I have again popping problems because the beads wasn't drills didn't fit properly and this was square drills so if I wonder if any of you order lately and uh, please let me know in the comments if they have um, better quality right now or not so uh, maybe I can give a try and order something more because I have many viewers that ask me about and I just I can't really tell nothing because I know they wasn't ready yet and they still have problems so if you have any updates I would love to know and thank you in advance for that Wow, looks so pretty. Looks so pretty. Let's see if I can show you a little bit close up. I don't know if my camera will let you. As soon as I go close, it get out of the zoom. But oh, mm, let's see how three three dimensional. You can see a little bit. But since I go close, it sparkle, but out of the focus. Ay ay ay. Okay, we will see in a daytime. It's kind of uh, hard right now because at night time not as same as I would work by the window in a daytime. And guys, I need already to refill my wax because it's already not enough. This um, let me just grab wax. I have one in here from from dreamer design I have I was working today recording some video so I have wax in here already just gonna grab a little bit new because this gems is just pulling wax too fast and it's getting non sticky I guess this foil top of them make wax um, take a residue of those gems and then Wax lose um, stickiness, believe it or not. Okay, let's find a new spot. We're just gonna go, I'm just gonna turn like this a little bit canvas. 
So we have this area. Just want to make sure we on camera. This kind of canvas, I think I can finish like in one day because it's so pretty and so sparkle and you just don't want to stop work on it. Today, finally, we have a big, big rainstorm. We've been waiting the storm for a long time and it just keep going away. And today, when those clouds gather together, oh my God, the house on the inside was dark like a nighttime. And then it's just sky broke down. It was a good rain. But still, even after rain, the temperatures drop down, but it's so muggy, still muggy. Like right now, if I go just in my um, t-shirt, whatever, it's still hot outside, even it's already like almost 11. But it's just lots of mosquitoes this season. So I will stay in the house, away from mosquitoes. Oh, I love those beads. Okay, we are moving on to this part. Um, you probably already saw that um, not as often my videos uh, right now some point I can post like almost every day and then I have a few days break it just because guys it's hard in the summer and I hope all of you will understand that when kids at home in summertime it's good time to go a little bit outdoors and spend time with kids outside take them to some parks to the zoos to some you know some something to have fun outdoors and there's a little bit less time go for to record videos so I'm a little bit um, don't have enough time to record I hope you forgive me for that My little girl got notification today that her package from Aliexpress arrived in Canada. So yes, she shopped first time, daddy bought her gift card, the one that I uh, keep in for you guys for the giveaway for 6,000 subscribers. So she asked one daddy to get for her. So. Uh, she asked me to help her have to order so she ordered some cute stuff and we will do unboxing together with her her package she ordered a few things from mama as a gift what a cute little girl she's so kind even that was just a $25 gift card she managed to order something from me without telling me that that's for me so we will do unboxing and if you have a kids send them to her channel to watch and maybe they would love to order same stuff to spend your money a little bit eh? lots of kids love that stuff that she ordered not gonna say what we will be surprised together when we unbox so it's arriving in Canada today so I assume it's gonna be like another week probably to get through the custom and stuff like that so hopefully not more than a week but so far it was pretty fast 
delivery it's only 10 days uh, not delivery but only 10 days since we order and it's already in Canada that's that's fast already and trucking number which is always nice so we love that store for kids for sure we're gonna be keeping to our favorites do you guys when you shop on Aliexpress do you uh, add stores to your favorites so you always remember the uh, name of the stores you know how to do that right you just click button follow and it's what it will add to your favorites okay I'm gonna start in here look how fast we are going I just love to create guys that just that's that's why I uh, name my channel Lovecraft forever and sorry I have to restart the video because the time was out um, Lovecraft forever it says all about me that I do Lovecraft and it's forever nothing can stop me only if God decide to take my hands away or my eyesight I love to create as as much as I live so I will teach my little girl to cross stitch she was really interested in it she saw my teddy bear but that was a little bit uh, too small for her to start to teach her how to cross stitch I will get her in a little bit uh, bigger canvas um, to make a bigger cross stitches maybe even the one that you can buy from dollar store on plastic one so it's sturdy and it's easier for kids to learn I don't know but but she wants to learn so I'm happy about that that she wants to learn because I think in her age I already knew how to cross stitch I already used sewing machine my mom trusted me as a kid to use her sewing machine because I was good I was already stitched some dresses for my doll Wow, this pearls make this design already so beautiful. If this would be shiny, um, regular like a glass beads, I don't think this would be as beautiful as this pearl. So I think so far the way that I outline it in the pearls, this design is just perfect they pick beads nicely so we'll see how it's done on the end uh, let me know in the comments if you already did this kind of diamond painting because I'm sure some of you already done because I didn't do any uh, partial diamond painting before so till I decided to try all of you already did this stuff I still have my peacock girl that I want to do that one is partial too that way I will finish quickly and it's gonna be done 
then I have to figure out how to frame her. I will have to put probably um, the canvas before I even drill under my press because it's a special diamond drills. Uh, I can't put under the press later because uh, I don't want to crush gems. But if I put under press the one that I use press for my t-shirt making of this vinyl, uh, I think maybe I can straighten out those wrinkles that um, was made by shipping in those little bags, you know. It would be nice if they would figure out finally to ship if um, this kind of diamond painter to have this foam rolls on the inside. That way uh, design wouldn't be damaged as much. Also, I'm waiting um, in the mail. Gorgeous, gorgeous big canvas of cross stitching, guys, that I order. So, look for that. I'm just so glad to get back to all my crafts that I used to do. So, yes, it's, um, you know. It's not going to be just a diamond painting in here, it's going to be about everything that I love to do. And cross stitching one of them. Usually cross stitching for me always was it's like a winter project. Because that's what you do, you sit watching TV and then you, you know, in the summer you kind of you want to do something else because it's nice and warm you can do outside and then the other day I figured out for myself that even cross stitching I can do in the summer while I'm watching my little girl swim in the pool I'm not much of the sitting in a pool if that would be like a lake or ocean I would go for a swim but in a pool I'm getting bored too much fast so I'd rather just sit in under the roof and watch her swimming. Even she is almost 11, but I still don't like to leave her unsupervised in a pool. Uh, I'm a mama bubble wrap mama. So I like to keep an eye on my kid in the water, especially what happens if some, you know, hit the head, get unconscious, and I don't want any accidents on the water. So. I always watch her and I figure out that I can do cross stitch outside. I can't print diamond painting outside because I don't know if heat would damage glue and dry out, make it unsticky. I don't know if I'm gonna spill gems outside. Also, I don't want a wind to pick it up and stick some dust and leaves into my canvas glue. So the diamond painting is not an option to work outside. But I can do cross stitching. So I that's what I finished my teddy bear today. I was uh, watching her girlfriend came to swim together. And I was sitting up there in the backyard and I was cross stitching teddy bear. which. I kind of finished everything yesterday and all I did is a backstitch, the one that um, with the black thread to outline teddy bear and that's what I did by sitting watching them swim and it was kind of nice actually to sit outside and it's nice and well it was hot, really hot but it was already was after rain so it wasn't that really badly hot but it was really humid too so I think if you like 
cross stitching that is shouldn't stop you when kids swim take it with you all you need is your canvas and one needle with one color that's it pick some area that is lots of the same color grab your um, piece of paper where you have your symbols all so you can see and that's it you can work outside while kids playing in the water so that's what I did today and see like it's already um, I tried to put and it's already kind of like it's not sticking as much it's already losing a stickiness I don't know what about this beads they just I guess the foil make a make a pan is like I don't know if I can zoom no it doesn't have a focus but loosen the stickiness so how about let's try something different let's try to work with tweezers tweezers I say tweezers I don't know okay let's try and see how we're gonna do because when I was doing a peacock I was doing round beads too with the tweezers and it's actually fun as well just for in case you don't know that this is not just the for square diamonds the only thing you have to do is one by one pick the right angle so you don't squish them hard that they wouldn't fly away from you and it's okay if sometimes it's happened but because of the so much foil of these beads on the top the wax not good as like doesn't work as good as you know the tweezers work wonderful and also you're not gonna have a residue of wax on the top of these beads which gonna make your diamond paint and more sparkle oh my guys talk too much okay oopsie one jump out we're gonna just move in here and what i see right now like this this glue it's pour on glue but if you want to move you see how you can easily move from one spot to another and the other thing why we're so frustrated with hook and um, diamond painting because that particular canvas uh, was like really hard to it's really hard to work and I still work on it and I determined to finish but that glue if you stick diamonds you cannot move so that's the other thing why I don't like it and it's really difficult canvas to work my shoulders was actually was hurting when I was working on it because I have to put kind of like a pressure to press the bead um, I don't know just it's different it's different than any other uh, canvases so yeah sometimes you need to take a break and start something happy like this canvas and I love to work I'm working on dreamers design canvas as well at the same time so I'm kind of work on on both of them and then I decide to to work today on this little one because I kind of look and look and it's tiny and have a fun jams and I kind of miss my jams sparkle jams so that's why I pull this out and I thank you so much for joining me in this series of Thrill With Me. So let me check right now my YouTube channel. I'm going to switch account. Ooh, thank you very much. We have a 5,710 subscribers. So guys, we are... 290 away from the giveaway so share like and invite your friends and 
You can have a giveaway. I like giveaways. And also I have some surprise to some of my YouTuber but I'm not ready to talk about that yet. Okay, the last bead left on my tray. There you go. Let's try to flip it. Sometimes when I... Ah, okay. I got it. We're gonna place in here. And what are you saying if we maybe change different color? Let's see, oops, wrong way. Check it out so far. Look at that, we are working fast. We already finished this corner in here and we already finished in here. That's pretty fast. So maybe now just for the change, I don't know, let's go next color number two. And that's going to be this um, red circle. Let's see. Number two. Surprisingly, it's a green color. The funny thing is, the has, look, that's kind of, if, if I would do, if I would design canvas, okay? What I would do, I would put green color to make a, an, a green circles, right? And in here it's opposite. Green goes on the red. So let's see what's green go, number three. On the green we have orange color, so it's kinda different. Okay, so I'm gonna change to the, to my green and that's number two on the red circles so I just have to remember not mistake mistakenly to put on a green circle that would be disaster ah oh, so pretty so pretty oh my goodness okay red one um you know the the red drills it's better kind of shake them this way first so they line up a little bit already and, and then I kind of shake them from side to side because sometimes they just jump in away. It's so beautiful. Look at the sparkle. Okay. If you are still here, or maybe I'm already all by myself and here and all you run away, let's put more and we're gonna play with the Scissors. Gonna do a little bit on a distance so you can see more of my work. My question to you is this uh, see you have a shadow right now because we work at night. Should we do this kind of angle on the camera to work? And you would watch together bigger piece of canvas and kind of my, my movements and trays. Or you like better if I do this way. So you can see better canvas. Kind of you can see the points where I put my drills like the close up better for you or further so please let me know and I will record video that way since I already zoom I'm just gonna keep it like this because I think for myself when I like to watch I like to watch uh, more close up let's see if you can get tiny tiny bit okay I think that's close enough before it's get out of the focus. It's fun to change from the stylist pen to the tweezers.
but with my problems I'm having a crisis these days with my wrist and I think this rain kind of helped me because the pain gone away a little bit I think I start to feel in the rain and kind of arthritis I don't know because my wrist was hurting for the last three days and every day we were waiting in the rain and never happened so today I feel better the glory of getting older ay 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 I don't like that I don't like to get older but on the inside I'm so young that's ridiculous okay I'm refusing to grow up so that's the spirit we need to have we need to be positive I think you will love to watch this canvas when I gonna paint in a daytime. It looks like this gonna be more fun to work in a daytime when um, like right now I can see that I kinda making a shadow with myself. And a little tip for you about tweezers. If you hold in a further, you have a more resistance to squeeze and it's gonna hurt your hand. Um, so I'm holding like as close as possible in here. That way it's easier to squeeze and doesn't hurt wrist as much. Because after a while, kind of, you can feel it if you have a problem with wrists. Okay, I don't want to make this video too, too long, so we're going to finish this little piece yet, and I think um, this is going to be good for now, and then you can see a little bit how this work look like, and then maybe some other day I will post video with more colors we can drill together, but now after this one for sure I want to do the Christmas one picture first and then uh, I will drill more this one with you because I think it's kind of it's it's fun to do and if you like to watch please watch if you don't like to watch that's that's okay somebody else uh, maybe like to watch the whole process so I think I'm gonna record the whole process so, so far guys, I think I really, really, really love this diamond painting. And uh, of course, on a daytime, we will see all the beauty and all the sparkle. But so far, with the white and green, I think it looks beautiful. It's dark to see right now, but it's going to be so pretty in a daytime. So, I wish you all good night because it's a night in here. If you are in Europe, it's uh, good morning to you and all over the world guys. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. It makes me really happy and um, I'm glad to have you here. So I see you in my next episode.